my head. And then pull the trigger. Come on. There's no way I can't. Your attention, please. Today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching malfunction. We apologize for any inconvenience. The next stop is Iwatodai. I arrived so late, I'd better hurry up. Iwatodai Dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should be just up ahead. Hello guys and welcome to Persona 3 Reload. This is a remake of, as you have probably guessed, Persona 3, a JRPG from the mid-2000s, and... I played Persona 3 a couple years ago, not on the channel or anything, just on my own. I absolutely fell in love with it, so when rumors about a remake started to crop up, I was super pumped. And after playing through this game, it was completely worth the wait. I loved every second of it, and I can't wait to share this experience with you guys, so let's go through here. Is this... a coffin? Yeah, things here in, uh... What's this place called? Uh, Tatsumi Port Island. Don't seem to be quite normal. There are several objects that look like coffins inside of the store. Just the mental image of that is super weird and creepy. This seems to be a Takayaki shop, but it's closed. Iwatodai Dorm. I guess this is it. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. All right, this is where we get to name our protagonist. This is mostly for, you know, immersion's sake. You can enter your own name and it's like you're really a character in the game or something like that. But uh, for the sake of, I don't know, presentation, I guess, I'll go with this character's canon name. And that name is... Makoto Yuki. This is the character's official name, because uh, 
this is what he was named in the animated movies, and then what he was named in the dancing spinoff, and then in the re-release of Persona 3 Portable, which is another version of this game, that was sort of the default name. Uh, there are a couple other names for this character, such as a popular one, which is Minato Arisato. And that's his name in the uh, manga adaptation. And there's also a less popular one, Sakuya Shiomi, uh, which is used in the stage plays. And although that name doesn't get a lot of love, in Persona 3 Portable, the, uh, the female protagonist is named Kotone Shiomi, which, which is supposed to be sort of a gender swap version of uh, Sakuya's name. Anyways, enough with the preamble on this character's name. Uh, Makoto Yuki. Did I spell that correctly? Let's go with this. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. Who's there? How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. Wait! Huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Alrighty, so here's our first uh, dialogue choice. Uh, this will pop up a lot in this game, where you just choose what you want your character to say, and the dialogue will change a little bit depending on what you say. This doesn't really matter, uh, except for when we get to what's known in this game as social links, uh, but that's a, an entirely different matter that we'll get to later. Nice to meet you is the polite thing to say, but the dialogue people that the dialogue that a lot of people choose, and the one that makes the most sense is, why do you have a gun? Huh? Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby. I mean, not a hobby, but. You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, well, we kind of already know what the contract is for, so let's ask, does that kid live here too? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Yukari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. I love how she's like, call me Takeba, and then immediately in his head he's like, oh, it's Yukari. <laughs> you something on your way here from the station was everything okay yeah huh. well okay don't worry about it then I'd better get going um I'm sure you still have questions but let's save them for later okay good night Life in the dorm starts today. 
The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Alrighty, some tutorials. Uh, save your progress with the options button. Uh, rewind, this is a new feature. Uh, it's a common thing to make some decisions in this game and be like, or in these types of games, and be like, oh crap, I regret that, I want to go back. So instead of just having like five different save files for different points in time, uh, you could just go to the rewind system and choose what point you want to go back to. It's only a little bit back, so it's not like you can go back like five months or anything like that. It's still reasonable. Um, and then you can check the tutorials. All right, we can rock, walk around now. Um, an interesting thing about uh, the protagonist here is that, and with the all of the Persona protagonists, is that in the adaptations, like the manga adaptations and the anime adaptations, they have to actually give these guys personality traits because, you know, they're sort of just like your basic protagonists with a little bit of personality spread here and there. And honestly, that works for the type of game this is. But in the adaptations, obviously, you know, they're characters. You can't just have your main character be a boring, like, sort of self-insert. Doesn't really work with that type of medium. So often, these char the protagonists are given some defining... Uh, character traits uh, that are kind of overplayed in the fandom and referenced a lot. In the anime adaptation, Makoto's deal is that, you know, he doesn't uh, care about anything. Like, his catchphrase is kind of, I don't care, because he's kind of just nonchalantly going through everything. But one personality trait that stuck out to me in the manga adaptation is that the protagonist there is constantly really sleepy. Just like, especially in the first uh, couple of volumes of the manga, he's just constantly like, ugh, I'm tired. And characters are trying to be like, okay, there's important plot stuff happen happening, and he'll just be like, oh, I'm super sleepy. Uh, this calendar right here, uh, in Persona 4 and its subsequent spinoffs, it's kind of a running thing where the calendar will be themed around another Atlas game. Atlas is the people who made this game, by the way. And in P basic Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden, it's a Persona 3 calendar. And in the Arena games, I'm pretty sure it's a Catherine calendar. And then in Persona 3 Portable, they made it so that the calendar is also Persona 3 themed. So it's kind of weird. In the realm of Persona 3 Portable, the Persona 3 game also exists. I mean, it's completely a meta thing. It's not supposed to make any sense. But anyways, that's enough talking about trivia. I've been standing in this room now for like five minutes. Uh, I have tons of trivia on this game because this is a long game and it's been around for years. So of course there's a bunch of, a bunch of different fun facts and stuff about this game. But let's just uh, put our stuff away now. Uh, there are purchase DLC costumes that you can wear based on uh, Personas 4 and 5. Uh, I haven't bought those personally, uh, so unfortunately you won't be seeing those in this playthrough. Anyways, we're exhausted. Let's head to sleep. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early so I'm ready for the first day of school. Are you awake? Um, so you just saw the calendar graphic there that shows time passing. An interesting little thing that'll make me sound like a huge nerd for pointing this out. Technically speaking, uh, the stuff that we just went through uh, with Takeba and Mitsuru, technically sh it should have said April 7th up in the top right corner because it was after midnight. This is actually something that uh, was correct in the original versions of this game. But anyways, uh, that's enough nitpicking. And I'm not even saying this is like a negative. Like, it's, it's just the smallest of like, tiny issues. Anyways, good morning. Good morning. 
Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's set out. I don't want to be rude to Yukari because Yukari is awesome. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now! Morning! Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going into the faculty office. Looking around, uh, this is some basic stuff. Uh, our right stick to move the camera. D-pad will make you closer or farther away. Uh, sometimes you can't move the camera. And that's it, pretty much. So yeah, now we can uh, do a bit more, we have a bit more free movement. Uh, you can zoom in if you want. I don't ever really zoom in like this because, I don't know, something about it is, is just too up close. I prefer a bit of a more farther away approach to the camera. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is it's nice being able to uh, sit back and relax and let actual voice actors voice act these characters because my previous three let's plays i was doing all the voice acting uh if you could even call it that um there are still parts that i will be able to voice though like for nondescript characters uh there's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class i mean we'll never see them after we graduate anyways so yeah sometimes there will be characters who don't really have names or any importance to the plot and so I'll be able to do some voice acting there. Uh, there are some characters though and some characters we could talk to right now that actually do have some relevance and do have voice acting. What? Cause, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? Well, we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Oh. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? Accidentally skipped a bit of dialogue there, but that's okay. So yeah. Uh, that's one thing that I find awesome about this game is that you'll be able to see tons of characters uh, Who are important later in the story just hanging about uh, Such as hmm. Oh, there it is class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. Yeah, he's a character that we'll get into a little bit later. Oh great, I have the worst teacher ever. What? Well, I, I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Just check the roster. The class rosters are posted. My name is added on a small note off to the side. 
Class 2F, Makoto Yuki. Hmm, there's also Yukari Takaba on the list. Seems that I'll be in the same class as her. Uh, not only the same class as her, but also the same class as this guy over here, Kaz. Huh? The faculty office? Mm, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. Now, listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society! Oh la la, how wonderful! I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy! Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. We'll get to those two characters in a little bit. Uh, I like both of these guys. Um, well, I like this guy right here, the French guy. Uh, this teacher can be a bit uh, one note and not that interesting at times. Uh, one thing that uh, is uh, very important is R2 is the run button. So just, just to keep in mind, uh, it's, this isn't the speed will be going at the entire game you can just zoom around like this uh, using the bathroom it's the men's room enter uh, using the bathroom is actually an interesting mechanic from the original game I'm gonna get more into it when we talk about uh, combat and stuff like that uh, this probably sounds very weird out of context anyways you're important huh the library it's strange. I even made sure to check the map, but... Where am I? An interesting thing about voice acting is we're hearing all of the English voice acting, because, you know, might as well. Uh, the Japanese voice actors... Uh, a lot of the Japanese voice actors for this game would later go to appear in a series called uh, Danganronpa. Which is also a series that I'm probably going to play on the channel at some point. For example, our main character here in Japanese is voice, voiced by the Japanese voice for uh, Byakuya. And Yukari's voice actor is the voice actor for Junko, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it's just some cool trivia if you're a fan of that franchise. But anyways, one thing that I will say about this game, and it makes sense because it's an RPG, um, is that there's tons of dialogue in this game, meaning there's absolutely going to be some sort of dialogue that I'm going to be missing out on. So if you have played this game, or have seen somebody else play it, and there's dialogue that you uh, are like, hey, you didn't go see this dialogue, then be sure to let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to heart your comment and then mention it in the next episode that I record. Hmm, <laughs> kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her friends had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to get back to managing the shop. <sighs> Even you're shooing me away. Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Oh, all right, all right. You want me to order more of those cream-filled bread you like so much, right? You could have just asked. That's always how I imagined her voice, like the typical, like lunch lady type of voice that you hear in cartoons and stuff like that. Anyways, plot progression. This seems to be the faculty office. Should I go in? Let's go! Oh, are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. 
since I'm doing, since I delivered that line with the stereotypical, like, hey, this is my emo protagonist voice, that, uh, wow, such enthusiasm sounded like sarcasm. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey. You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Fun fact, that voice actor is the voice actor for the protagonist from Persona 5, Joker. And I think he also voices the Smash announcer, like from Smash Bros. It's like, fight! Anyways, I don't know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? What? Don't look at me like that. And you are... Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, it's Yukatan. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. There you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Okay, so here's an interesting thing that I want to go ahead and point out. I'm going to try to choose the option, it must be fate. I don't have the courage to say this right now. Maybe I could say stuff like this without hesitation of if I was at least determined. So yeah, there are stat checks in this game, and we'll get to our social stats in a little bit. Um, and how we can raise them and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, we can't say that line. Anyway. So we'll just say, yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? I didn't. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Uh. What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Yo! 
should we go take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around. If you want to leave, head for the front entrance. So yeah, with a new friend made at school, and our school life started out, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end off the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and walk with Junpei outside of the school, head back to the dorms, and see what else awaits us in our student life here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Oh.